So I, uh, I'm back in Homosassa, Florida, at the dealer again, <laughs> getting ready for the trip. But uh, we're gonna go down to this uh, Lake Loop Trail. Uh, I brought it in because the radio uh, kept fading in and out, in and out, in and out. It was driving me batshit crazy, and uh, I know that sounds stupid, but. Uh, I just, you know, when I crank up the volume, I want the volume up. I don't want it going in and out. And, uh, you know, they've got that adaptive um, volume for, you know, sound control. You know, screw that, man. Who the hell wants that? I don't even know why these dealers put that on their stereos. So anyway, uh, he cut the HD audio off. And hopefully that'll fix the problem. I don't know. Uh, but I like it here in Omasasa, so I don't mind making the trip. But... I mean, I read the whole doggone owner's manual and I couldn't figure it out. This is uh, Village Toyota. Tell you what, they do a lot of business here. And uh, let's head on down to the trail and get going. Woohoo! So I'm, uh, I'm out in search of the uh, Fort Island Trail. And there was a sign back there that said birding trail this way. And we went all the way down to the end of the road. Yeah, nothing there. You know, this is the advantage of the Toyota Prius Prime because I could drive around all day. <laughs> it don't cost me anything except for a little bit of electricity back at the house. But I thought you might want to check this out. I thought this was pretty cool, at least when I came in the, into this area. Look at this. Huh? Isn't that cool? Look at that marsh going way off in that direction. So anyway, we're we're gonna make a whole day out of this today. I I'm gonna, I'm determined. I'm gonna try to find this trail. I I'm gonna get back up on the road, and uh, we'll just keep on going. Uh, we're gonna hit the archaeological park today and just make a a whole video out of this. But uh, these are things you see. You know, let's just keep going. So I just wanted to get another view of this as I'm driving by. Man, oh man. Bet there's some gators out there, huh? It's uh, it's pretty cool. I uh, I just love seeing this stuff as I drive along. Pretty amazing. So, but I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. All right, let's. Uh, man, awesome. So I guess we're done looking for this trail. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but they got the whole road blocked off and uh, I'm going to turn around and just go back to the archaeological part. Maybe another time we'll come back to Homosassa and we'll look for the trail. All right, let's 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 get to the archaeological park. You have got to see this. How in the hell did a car get back in there? <laughs> I mean, look at this. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Holy moly. I'm going to turn around and... The, the trail, I found it actually. Isn't that crazy? But what in the hell is a car doing back in there? Look at that. All right, I'll get on. Let me get out of the way. I got to turn around. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you can tell the trails, uh, it's a little bit too wet. <laughs> it's a hike today. So we, uh, well, at least we found the trail. Maybe someday we'll come back and do this. That'll be cool. All right, let's get on to the archaeological park. But Look at this, man. <laughs> I gotta get this on the video. It's amazing the shit you see. Well, how in the hell did he get that car back in there? What in the hell? All right, I'll get out of the way. All right, so I came down here just to see what the, uh, the seven mile loop it says it's gonna take three to five hours. And it says a uh, trail subject to flooding <laughs> in wet conditions possible. <laughs> you tell me, I think that's that sign is an understatement. I think he'd swim your way up that trail. You're gonna have to wait till a really dry season to do this trail, the seven mile loop. I, I do want to come back and do it someday. They do have all of this stuff on the board here. I'm just gonna get it on the video because the bugs are on me again. And uh, I'm gonna actually go home and read it myself. Uh, pause. 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 Pause.
Pause. Pause. And pause. And this shows you what the seven mile loop looks like. Be pretty cool. All right, that's it, I'm done. I'm done with the bugs. I'm done with the mosquitoes. I'm done sweating. Okay, so we're here at the Crystal River Archaeological State Park. <laughs> Quite an adventure today. I had to drive the car. I tell you what, that Toyota Prius Prime went right through two feet of water. <laughs> I mean, they have had some rain down here in Crystal River, I'm going to tell you what. But uh, this is kind of the hike, well, you know, it's the hike I was expecting today. I was hoping that we might do something on that other trail, but I, did you see that? I mean, how the hell did, I mean, Florida man, Florida man, how the, how the hell do you get a car? You know, I mean, it, it was back in there about, I would say, 50 feet i mean and i'm just how do you i don't even know how they developed the momentum to just drive it that far back into the woods you know who knows where the driver was i mean may, i didn't see any dead bodies or anything so maybe nobody was hurt but let's get on the hike so before i get started on the hike i kind of wanted to show you this you know i uh, there is a ranger station nearby, and you can see there's a ranger vehicle parked right here. And I think that's because it says open over here on the museum sign. Well, so we, maybe we'll get in there today, but I, you know, I put this on my dash. And, uh, you know, because I, I, the last time I was here, there was a ranger on his way in. Uh, and now whether he was going to check vehicles to see if they paid, because there's actually down this road right here, there's a pay station. Well, you can see it right there. You know where they want you to, to 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 pay to come into the park but if you've got a florida state park pass uh, i'm pretty sure that covers it and uh so we're gonna get going and uh this is just a we're gonna read just a couple sides the easy hike today you know nothing much going on i mean we've had so doggone much rain i can't get out on any trails um so and i uh, and boy i tell you i that guy was right. All you had to do was cut off the HD radio. <laughs> I mean, who knew? <laughs> and and now it, 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 the stereo sounds great. I don't even know why you would ever want HD radio. I mean, maybe, if, I guess, if you live in a big city. Uh, but uh, out here, you know, I mean, and it, it, it booms, man. I, I like the, the, the sound. It's not going in and out, in and out like it was. That should have been the default, in my opinion. But uh, who am I? Okay, so let's get going. Let's get a look at this. <laughs> I told you I was going to trash this car, man. We're trashing it. We're not even on the road yet. 5,000 miles. Woohoo! So, let's get this briefly on the video. Right over here is a car that's running, just sitting still. First, I didn't think anybody was in it, but what they did was they left somebody in the car so that they could go hiking. Now, this person, that's okay, but they should be driving the car around. You never want to, you know, on a hot Florida day, leave a car just idling in a parking lot for a long period of time. Well, you really don't want to do it anywhere, but especially in Florida. That, that, that car ain't gonna last long, I can tell you that. Just thought I'd put a little edumacation in the video. So here's the first sign. You know, I always love to read this stuff. The ancient native peoples who built these mounds lived at Crystal River for more than a thousand years from around AD 50 to AD 1050. Archaeologists think of this as a village where people lived, but also as a place where visitors came to trade goods and information, or take part in communal projects and ceremonies. The people of Crystal River made tools and fine crafts, mostly from local resources, but also used exotic materials like copper and quartz crystals. People traded for these items from as far away as present-day Ohio and Michigan. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I mean, I'm Michigan. I'm in Florida. Oh my God. How in the hell do you hike all the way across the country? Okay, in exchange for valuable shells native to the Gulf Coast. And uh, I'm just going to kind of get this on the bottom and then I'll read it. I can't read the whole thing. The video will get too long. I'll let you pause it. There's that one. Let's see. Get that one on the video. And there's this one. Okay, 
hopefully you're getting that one pause it right there and then pause it right there and then let's see what's uh, I could, at least I can read this one what happened to the people of Crystal River the people who lived here did not disappear overnight. Some moved just across the river to build a new community and set of mountains, while others likely left for smaller settlements on the Shell Island closer to the Gulf of Mexico. So I'm going to see. It says, come on in. We're open. Maybe they'll let me make a video. Maybe they won't. Let's see what happens. So like they said, this is, a, I guess, a burial ground area. And I... Uh, not sure what this means, it just says steel 2, the ramp from the second temple mound points directly at this undecorated steel. And they've got this framed in. So I imagine, you know, back in the day this had some sort of uh, spiritual significance probably to the uh, native inhabitants. Uh, unfortunately I didn't get in the museum. <laughs> you can see they're leaving right now. <laughs> he, he was shutting the door as I walked in, but that's okay. I, I guess I took too long. Uh, observing the uh, uh, that that car back in the woods and searching for that other trail but you know it's good now it's good now we've got a seven mile hike down here because I'm gonna have to come back to this dealer uh, to get my car uh, looked at you know oil changes and all that uh, it's only about an hour hour and a half drive uh, and uh, and it's a beautiful drive really beautiful driving except getting through Inverness that's a bit of a city you know um, but uh, but the rest of it is just uh, amazing and there's just all kinds of trails I want to do here in Homosassa, Homosassa, Florida. So we're going to head on over here to the uh, Temple Temple Mound, which is this direction. Boy, you can see the water. Look at that, man. They have had just a crap load of rain. Um, you know, that, that's why I came here, because I knew that uh, we'd be able to just hike around and get some exercise and, uh, and see what we see. You can see this burial mound right here. Uh, and then we're going to... Last time I was here, it was really crowded. Um, luckily, there's nobody here today. Um, so let's just keep on going. So here's another sign. In this area, more than a thousand years ago, people built their homes, raised their families, made tools, and prepared meals. All this human activity created a mitten or built up area made of bits and pieces of their everyday lives. And I'll let you look at all the items here and you can read that at your leisure. And uh, what's for dinner? <laughs> The mounds and midden around you are made up mostly of mostly oyster shell, indicating that oyster was a major food source and building material for the people who lived in Crystal River. People here relied on hundreds of different species of plants, fish, reptiles, and mammals for their meals. How many different sorts of plants and animals do you think the average person eats today? Okay, and then lastly, we'll, we'll read this one. It says, animal bones and shells left over from a meal often were recycled for other purposes above you can see some of the food remains and personal items found here in the mitten and how do we recycle our garbage today yeah hey that's an important people you know i i've done videos on taking the cans to the recycle place Woohoo! all right so a view from the top main mound mound day much like an arena or stadium in a big city mound day served as a symbol of grandeur that would impress visitors to this site from the flat top of the mound, public performances, speakers, and ceremonies would have been on display to those below while also providing on the mound a commanding view of the surrounding area. I'm going to let you look at the rest of it because we're getting a little bit long in the tooth here on the video. And uh, I'll sit here and read this. But here's, here's the mound. We're going to go up these stairs and I'll get a view from the top. Boy, I don't know if you follow my videos, but I was back in the gym for the first time in a year and a half because people have finally come back to their senses and you don't have to wear a mask in the gym no more. But climbing those stairs after lifting weights, oh, my thighs are burning. But I just want to show you up here on top of the mound, you got a couple of bench seats. It's a very nice touch. So you could just sit here and watch the boats go by. I mean, it's uh, beautiful up here. Boy, what a place to have a picnic, huh? You can come right here and just chill out. Sorry I'm breathing a little hard. <laughs> I guess it's because my muscles are... And I'm going to be even sore tomorrow because I haven't lifted weights, like I said, in a year and a half because everybody lost their damn minds. Everybody wanted you to wear a mask and there were all these crazy rules and I was like, screw it, I'll just go hiking, you know? But... Uh, 
Boy, isn't that beautiful? Look over across the river. That's awesome. Man, life is good, people. Life is good here in Florida. It's good to be free. So we've come upon another sign here. It says, as you listen to the sound of the Crystal River as it flows by, imagine yourself here a thousand years ago. Man, can you imagine that? When Native Americans once called this place home. Nate, when you, don't, when you think about it, we've only been here well, for 1776, so a little over 200 years, a thousand years ago. Wow. Utilized a natural lagoon located where you are standing as a canoe landing and entrance to their bustling visage and ceremonial space. And I tell you what, I can't read the rest of it. If we're getting long, I'll just, I'm going to zoom in on it and then I'll cut the video off and read it. And then uh, right here. And then you got that, you can pause it right there. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show you the view. This is pretty cool. I mean, you got these benches here. I assume probably they maybe have some park functions where they have people up on the mound or, or you know, maybe just out in front for some sort of entertainment. I'm not sure what that's about. And uh, here's, the, here's the river. And uh, boy, I tell you, I'm watching this guy fish down here in his boat. <laughs> Am I jealous? Yeah, hell yeah. I remember back in the day when when I had my boat and then we used to go out on dad's boat and do the same thing. We just you just cast anchor and just sit there and fish for hours, you know. It was a beautiful thing, spiritual almost, you know, in reflection. Um and uh, you know, just cruising along the river. Look at that boat there, you know. Uh so it's a it's a pretty active area here. Um and you know what, I mean, you can see the archaeological part would be a great place to come and picnic. you got the picnic tables. Uh, and, and luckily today it's steamy. It's steamy, but not unreasonably hot. So let's just keep going around the trail. So mystery in stone. Carved stone slab, Stella 1. Since its discovery in 1964 by archaeologist Rip Bullen. Hmm, never heard of him. Ripley Bullen. Excuse me. Stella 1 has remained a mystery in the ground near the stone, researchers found a small cache of stone tools, animal bones, and charcoal, possibly left as an offering. Uh, while some researchers felt that the uh, face of the stella was probably carved in antiquity, others suggest that the stella is entirely modern. What do you think? Okay, and so let's, uh, I'll let you read the rest on, on your own. Don't want to get too long in the tooth here on the video. Pause it right there. And then you got this right here with the with that, and of course we got to get the stone. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't see a face on it. Let's get around it. Huh. I, you know, I guess I'm just not an artist. It just looks like a rock to me. <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe I'm just a dense redneck fool. All right. Alright, so main burial complex mounds C through F. Have you ever visited a cemetery? The mounds and raised features here are a graveyard for Native Americans who buried their dead at this site 1,000 to 3,000 years ago. Holy moly. A large central mound contains the graves of people buried with gifts showing they had contact with places and people from far away or may have themselves come from distant places. And we'll just get the rest of this on the, the video. Pause right there. Well, that's pretty cool. Pause right there. And then uh, building bridges. Pause right there. I guess they're showing that. And then you got that. And pause right there. So I'm gonna sit here and read this. And uh, here's the here's the burial mound. Uh, you know, it's kind of, kind of weird, you know, this is what we all turn back into, stardust, basically, in the end, and that's why I don't understand the authoritarians or, or people that are greedy or any of that, you know, you, you come here, you, you should try to do the best you can with your life and then, uh, and then move on because that's where you're going to end up. All right. You know, since this is mainly a hiking channel, <laughs> I realized I hadn't taken a hiking video. I've just been getting all the signs. So, you can see it's just a little 
paved path it doesn't go around very far you could probably do a couple loops here to get some exercise if you want to um, so uh, removing artifacts uh, I guess they're talking about the, the tree being down here uh, the, the paths of course in very bad shape I mean if you if you, uh, you there's a lot of places to trip let's just say that you know so you wouldn't want to be here if you're in any sort of um, uh, disabled or uh, uh, condition you know where you can't uh, lift your feet up high enough to get over a lot of the uh, um, bad parts of this uh, little hiking path and you know and this is coming from the guy <laughs> who hikes the most stupid stuff you've ever seen so we got on the sign coming up let's get that on the video so here we are flat top mound and plaza mound H imagine a watching a sermon speech or performance atop the mound boy they had politicians back then what do you know in front of you as you stand among the members of your family and community in flat open plaza native peoples use this 12 foot high platform mound in the plaza to for or open space behind you for the for rituals and festivities we do not know the specifics of why people chose to come together here but we do know crystal river served as a regional gathering place and center of activity for many generations and uh okay I, they're just talking about the archaeologists and the artifacts, but here's what they're talking about. So I'm gonna let's let you know what let's hike up here. Just take a look at what's on top of the the mound. Boy, I tell you, even here <laughs> the flies are out. <laughs> I tell you, they got a lot of flies here in Crystal River. I I uh, boy hiking that uh, Crystal Cove Trail, which is what we did the last time we were here, because I couldn't get this video in. Uh, too tired I was too tired after that day but uh, so this is this is the mound I guess this was a, a stage back in the day boy what a backdrop huh that's cool holy moly so you can kind of see I guess the people would have been seated right around in here and uh, it's uh, be a mixture of stave Huh. I mean, what you can imagine, I mean, think about it. You know, we, we always look back on people of a thousand years ago and think they were primitive. But the things they created are pretty astounding. You know. Wow. All right, let's continue on. There's one more sign, and then I guess this video will be over at that point. So this is the last sign that I see. The burials located here shared little in common with those from the main burial complex on the other side of the plaza. The people buried here had no elaborate grave goods but were laid to rest with shells, bone tools, and pottery. However, radiocarbon dating suggests that the sand burial mound and the main burial complex were in use at the same time. Uh, what could account for this difference in burial customs? And I'll let you read the rest. Let's, uh, I'll sit here and read it. So there you go. So I guess that's it for uh, the archaeological park. Um, you know, it's a nice place to visit. Um, you know, I'm not sure it's worth the money. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what. Well, I guess for the museum, and we missed that, you know, unfortunately. Maybe someday I'll come back. I mean, it's twice now I've been here, and twice now it was closed. Now, I got here late today, so I completely understand. But the last time I was here, it was early, and uh, and it was closed then. So, I mean, I think it's only open like a couple days a week. So, uh, we'll, uh, I'm going to head on back to the car, and then I'll, I'll drive down and uh, get another hike in just for exercise. You don't need to, to see that. And um, so, it's been, a, it's been a good day. Uh, you know, I can't believe <laughs> that all it was was cutting the HD audio off, off on the car. To solve the problem with the, I, you know, I but you know what, it was down in the um, the audio options, uh, and I did not know that they even existed. I thought it would be on the, you know, the main options, because I thought it had to do with that uh, sound reduction crap that you know they put on the cars now. You know, because when it's quiet, it could, the sound goes down, and when you got a lot of road noise, the sound goes up. I thought that was it, but that had nothing to do with it. So okay, we're all done for the day. Uh, you guys, uh, peace out and be free. And you know, I said I'd start doing this at the every, at the end of every video. Freedom!
my freedom. So this is the bridge on the way into the Crystal River Archaeological Park. And I just thought I'd get this on the video because I just thought it was beautiful. You know, because you got the sun glistening down on that river. Isn't that amazing? And then here's the sun. Check it out. You know. So I just uh, I just enjoyed this view on my way in and I just thought, man, I gotta get this. I gotta get this on the video. Now the other side's not quite, you know, because there's people that live along the river, but I mean, when you think about it though, look at that boat right there. Holy moly, two. I think that's his 475 boat. I mean, look at the size of those engines on that thing. I bet that thing could do 80, 90 miles an hour across the water. Wow. What a, it's good to be good to be them so what I tell you those boats are a lot of work man I mean I, I, I don't regret not having my boat anymore I, I mean I do miss being able to water ski and stuff but someday I'm gonna find somebody here in Florida now that the virus is over for the most part I mean people come back to their senses you know I might be able to find some people with a boat that'll take me water skiing because I I pay for gas and beer people I pay for gas and beer, just take me water skiing. So on my way home, <laughs> I know this, they, all these videos get long in the tooth. I, I ran into this blue run of Dunludden Park. And you can see there's a Sand Hill Loop Trail. And you got the Blue Run Trail. So I'm going to get a little hike in here. And I... Uh, you know, I'm probably have to come back at some point just to just to do all of this. But I just saw all these people, and uh, everybody's got their bathing suits on. And I guess they were out kayaking a lot of them. And uh, let's just uh, let's just check it out. You know, this will be a video for another time. But man, we got to come back and do this. Man, I tell you, there's so much here in Florida that you just discover. I mean, it's crazy. I mean. You know, I could come back, there's a bench down here by the, I guess that's a pond. And then you come over here, Railroad Junction. And uh, we'll, we'll save this uh, all for another video. But I just kind of wanted to show you the, the crap I discovered. Because <laughs> nobody around Florida knows this shit exists, man. I tell you, that's why I make these videos. I hope you guys someday will uh, watch these and learn what's out here. Uh, I, I'll have to... And then in that video, I'll, I'll get all these signs and I'll get the location. But you can kind of see, you know, I don't know how long a hike this would be or uh, anything. I mean, maybe, you know, got to bring the bicycle. I don't know. But what, I'll, what I usually do is I just come and I hike these first and spend like about, you know, two or three hours hiking. And then if it gets too far, like that uh, in Inverness bike trail, um, then I just bring the bike back and then we'll do that that way. But, you know, I just saw this park, and I saw all those people, and I thought, man, let's check it out. So I met a, a really great person here on the trail, and she's going to show me the uh, trailhead of another trail. But she wanted me to see this. Uh, look at this. You know, what they're coming in, rather than, you know, doing the work, they're just spraying chemicals, Monsanto chemicals, that evil corporation. Uh, just like Agent Orange on this, and, you know, those are cancer-causing uh, chemicals that you don't want. Uh, you know, why can't they just cut it down? I, I, I don't get it, uh, but I told her I'd throw this up on the video, and uh, we're going to keep going, and I'll get the trailhead uh, where we're heading on the video. She was nice enough to come through here, because she doesn't like to hike through here because of the chemicals. And uh, so, you know, you can imagine me having had cancer twice. You know, I don't want to be here either. Let's get going. <laughs> 